In our last two episodes, we'll learn how to manage GKE infrastructure and the individual services running on it. But as our applications become more complex, more services are involved in serving user traffic and completing transactions. It then becomes more and more critical to understand how requests traverse multiple services and how each service contributes to overall latency. This is what distributed tracing does. It captures the latency of user requests and how long it takes each service in the path to return a response. Today, I'm going to show you how to capture latency in distributed applications using OpenTelemetry and analyze it using Cloud Trace. Welcome to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. Let's start by reviewing the basics of distributed tracing. These were originally described in Google's research paper on the Dapper distributed tracing framework. We'll link to it below if you'd like to read it. When a user request comes in, we want to create a trace that will describe how our system responds. Traces are composed of spans, where each span represents a specific request and response pair involved in serving the original user request. The parent span describes the latency as observed by the end user. Each of the child spans describes how a particular service in a distributed system was called and responded, with latency information captured for each. Now, let's take a look at a basic example. We have a front-end service that responds to user requests and makes calls to a back-end service. It has to wait on that back-end call to complete to return the response back to the user. We want to trace this interaction to understand both total latency and latency in each service. We recommend that you use OpenTelemetry for distributed tracing. It's an open source project that provides a single set of APIs, libraries, agents, and collector services to capture distributed traces and metrics from your application. Let's have a look at how to instrument your code for tracing. We'll also link to the full code sample in the episode notes. We start by setting up the Cloud Trace exporter. This will let us send the traces we collect to Cloud Trace for inspection and analysis. In the front end code, we start tracing and create the root span. We then make a request to the back end with the appropriate context. This is data embedded in the HTTP headers that our backend can use to append subsequent spans to our traits. In the backend code, we extract the context from the incoming request to create additional spans. This allows us to explicitly measure the latency of our backend service and create custom spans if, for example, we want to time how long specific backend tasks might take. Now, let's run the code and have a look at how we can use Cloud Trace to inspect request latency for both incoming user requests and backend calls. From the project dashboard, let's go to the products menu and select trace. The trace list shows us all the traces that have been captured in our project over the selected time interval. Let's switch that to the last day. Then let's filter for the traces for just incoming requests for our front end service using the label that we set in our code. Next, let's select a relevant trace from the resulting list. This shows us the waterfall chart with the parent span at the top and all of the child spans below that. We can see the latency for each span in the chart to quickly determine the source of the latency in our application overall. To get more information, we can enable events. These are annotations we've added in our code to more easily understand exactly what's happening at each span. Finally, we can click on any of the spans to get details for it over here on the right. This is how we can use Cloud Trace to analyze both the overall latency of user requests and how they traverse our services to find the primary contributors to latency issues. Thanks for joining me today. We covered the basics of distributed tracing and saw how to use OpenTelemetry to collect traces. We then saw how to use Cloud Trace to inspect traces and analyze latency. I hope this helps you keep your services fast and your users happy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.